Hello, Mac the Irish Football Fan TV. We're here at the Carlton Hotel in Blanchestown. I'm joined by Ireland's under-21 striker, Idemo Omaku. Idemo, I suppose, coming into this in quite a bit of form. Um, I think the last game you played for the under-21s was the winner down in uh, Turner's Cross, so it's been a good I suppose, start to the season for you. Yeah, definitely. You know, Obviously, if you look to where I was seven, seven, eight months ago, you know, I was in a complete different space You know, uh, with back-to-back -back injuries and stuff. But... A lot more settled now, and I'm like I'm just starting to, I'm just starting to enjoy my football again, and uh, yeah, it's been good. Talk us through your, your time, I suppose, from Shamrock Rovers to Millwall. Um, you know, it's been a you know from your own point of view, I suppose, from a life point of view, it, it you know it's probably made you a bit more of a man, a bit more mature, having to make that move over to London and kind of be a big boy now. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you leave your comfort zone. You know, obviously being at home, playing football at home with your family and your friends, and. You kind of go to your own space then, you know, it's a completely different environment. Um, obviously a new country, a much bigger country as well. Uh, a lot more faces and stuff like that. But I think like I, I think it was a perfect time in my career to take that next step, you know. I just want to see uh, how far I can go in my career. So I think it was important for me to make sure like I, I was challenging myself always and uh, that's why I moved that's why I moved to Millwall. And yeah. Um, yeah, I think obviously the first few months I found it I found it difficult to obviously adapt and uh, settle in. But as the months have gone on, like it's become a lot more easier. It feels, it feels exactly like home, so it's been good. Yeah, and you seem to be settling in nicely now. I mean, I look at this under-21 squad and the talent that's in it. Like I, I definitely feel like a lot of them could be in the senior team. Um, it must be exciting to be, you, you know, you're going away from club football, but you're coming to play for Ireland, you're coming to play for your country, but then you look at the, the, the talent that we're producing all the time. And as well as that, you've got the fact that You've players like Sinclair Armstrong, who I think you're friends with, um, and you've seen him go up, and he, he's made his, you know, yeah. his, his debut against Netherlands. Um, you know, that must give you optimism that there's faith there for the pathway for the first team, for the senior national team, for yourself. 100%. Yeah, you see, obviously the talent in the group, it's it's a joke, really. You know, uh, we got Andy, we got Sinclair. You know, we've got Armstrong, we've got Bossion, James Banque. Like, there's talent all over the place. You know. Um, Joe Hodge has played in the Premier League a few times, you know, and the yeah, the talent we have is a, is a joke. And you know, most of it comes from the League of Ireland, you know. So it's a credit to the league as well, obviously producing some good players. Obviously, the clubs back home they, uh, doing the right things with the players and making sure they're ready for that next step of their careers, you know. Um, so yeah, I think the League of Ireland clubs has a massive part to play in terms of uh, where the players are at now. You know, giving them that platform to you know almost train in a professional environment. So uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been a uh, like we've all come together now and uh, obviously playing a trying to get to the biggest stage of 21's football so um, no doubt that we'll qualify because the talent we have is a joke and it's, uh, it's, it's good. Yeah, talk to me about I suppose the qualifying so far. Obviously I mentioned the, the goal you scored and remember even Andy's goal down there like like some of the talent on show. I'm sure the people, the locals of Cork were delighted to have you down there and obviously what a way then to win it. Yeah, like I said, the memories are we're creating, we haven't even started yet but we're creating some memories that are going to last forever. You know, people are going to talk about this for a long time. You know, uh, obviously all the talent in the squad come together to combine for the goals. Obviously, you've seen Andy's equaliser against uh, Turkey, Tony Springer. You know, um, he's doing very well at Norwich as well. Yeah. So, his, his his assist from my goal. So, uh, yeah, the talent is everywhere. You know, um, right from the back to the front and the lads who come on as well. We've got a good crop of players in this 21 squad, and uh, I think we'll be challenging for very big things in this campaign. Yeah, I'm just kind of coming up to the, to the game now. Are you, you travelling today, is it? Yeah, no, we'll train today and we'll travel tomorrow. Yeah. Travel yeah. tomorrow afternoon. So what's the mood like going, going away, travelling away? I, I, I always sense with Ireland teams that there's always a great buzz amongst the lads. Oh, like, 100%. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when you, come in, you look forward to coming to camp, you know, obviously when one camp finishes, you're always thinking about the next one because it's just that the environment it's, the environment you're in, it's it's unbelievable, you know. It's a, it's a real togetherness, you know, even from the staff to the players. Everyone's together, like you come in, like... Players you may play with the first time, like after a few days, like you know them all your life. So uh, it's a really good group we have, and everyone's really together, and it's uh, it's what this country's about. Yeah. Well, listen, I promised them I wouldn't keep you more than five minutes. So listen, thanks very much for your time. No, no worries. Best luck in the game. Thank Hopefully, you. we bring back three points. Yeah.